Right, everybody, welcome to Buscot Weir in West Oxfordshire. This is not the video that we were going to come and shoot today because we were going to come here and photograph pillboxes on the GHQ stop line. Um, however, as you can see from some of the clips and from the view behind me, the Thames has completely burst its banks and flooded out both the footpaths. So we're not going to be getting down there. But this does give us an opportune moment for some um, flood photography because I've never ever seen the river this high at Buscot. So I've just spotted the gate through into the field is completely flooded. So we're gonna make a start on that one. So definitely a bit of gate to nowhere here. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. Let's get the tripod up and get a camera going. Okay, so I'm shooting on my trusty Canon 6D here. Um, full frame Canon, because uh, I know these things really matter to a lot of people. I really like it, always turns in a fairly good job, but I do happen to know that in fairly bright light, it likes to underexpose by a stop. So I'm probably gonna do that. Okay, so that was quite interesting. Um, for once it didn't want to shoot stop under. Um, F16, ISO 200, and uh, seemed perfectly happy. I would have sworn it was going to underexpose, but hey. Okay, so based on where we're looking now, what I really want to do is see if I can make something of the gate and the reflection and the curve of the trees because I think that's got real potential so I'm gonna keep working this and see what else I can come up with okay so we went from much much higher camera viewpoint almost looking straight down um, and across the landscape and I was much happy with the viewpoint that gave us so I'm just going to pan you across now so you can get a better sense of where that is definitely something to be had there with those reeds and that tree shooting from up on the bridge here so I'm gonna work that for a bit and get back to you shortly So the kind of the problem here is that I want to get that tree over there in, but I don't want the top of the railings. So camera's got to come up a reasonable distance. And I'm going to try for a fairly show, slow shutter speed, see if I can smooth that water out a bit. Okay, so I really, really, really couldn't resist 
the sight of these two life boys sticking up from the flooded footpath. I just thought it was really good. I particularly like the fact there's that second one a little bit further down. So I started out taking a photo which included both of them and then I actually pulled it a lot tighter and took a photo which just focuses in on the near one. Um, I think that one might work better. Um, I don't think it really quite with the duplicate one brings them both up but I really like it. Come here in the summer months and this picnic table is completely, it's always got people picnicking on it, people moor their boats just downstream or upstream of the lock, they get out, they can maybe go down into Buscot and visit the tea room, well worth it if you're in the Buscot area during the summer. Um, don't think anyone's going to be picnicking on it in the not too distant, um, but you can't resist a flooded picnic bench. I, uh, I love the way these dried seed heads just stick up out of the water. I think that's completely utterly irresistible and um, again there's no way I'm not going to photograph it but also I have never seen flooding like this down here so I've really got to make the most of the scene while I can. Yeah amazingly the uh, water is actually the same height on both sides of the lock gates. For anyone who knows about locks they shouldn't really be doing this. Yep, that's the water flowing over the top of the lock gate. Um, the lock is actually the same height on both sides at the moment. There's no height difference at all. So it's less of a lock, more of a weir. Okay, we're on a second location here and I don't have a lot of filming battery, but this is Cheese Wharf and the pillbox on the other side of the river has actually flooded, which I've never seen. So I'm gonna get a picture of that. Um, may not have enough battery to film me doing it, but uh, if this is the last video clip in the sequence, enjoy the pillbox photo.